Hello everyone, it's me again, one week later, Build Daniel Build, at your service. Last week, I made this, the District 9 Arc Rifle. If you don't remember, go watch that video. What did I do this week? I made its sister, or brother, whatever you want to call it. The District 9 Arc Generator, because I love the movie so much. So, without further ado, let's get started. Hello everyone, I printed everything. I used the printers, and I printed it. I don't know, it took like a few days, like two or three days to print all of these. The cool part. So, basically, this was like this big, and I made one a while back. I'll, I, I made it way bigger this time. We're gonna use 3D gloop. Magical stuff. I need my respirator. <sighs> I got the fun respirator. Oh yeah, wow. Anyways, let's get into it, shall we? Let's start throwing stuff together. Yeah. The magic of Gorilla Glue. Ta-da! Wear your respirator, make sure you have ventilation, because we're about to start melting plastic and 3D glue. Just better safe than sorry. All right, everything is basically cured on here, and I'm gonna go ahead and attach the handle. The reason I didn't sand individual parts first is because this is just one large piece that's put together. I will be painting this separate, the actual holder for it separate, all the small pieces are gonna be separate, this and this. I'm gonna go ahead and sand the top of this down and attach the axle. Uh, these two, I need to sand the top of this down and attach this. Safety first. Cool. Safety. All right. I'm gonna sand all the seams down, boys. A lot has happened since the last part that you just saw. I don't really remember what we were doing. I'm gonna start sanding everything on here. 80 grit. I'm gonna use 60 on some parts. I ran out of 120 sandpaper. I'm using this. Using 220. I used 80, 120, and 220 grit. I'm using glazing and spot putty. I'm not using a lot, I'm just putting little dots on the seams where everything is and then kind of rubbing it away so that it's smooth. Using 120 grit, I'm going to sand that bondo that's now dried and then I'll use 220 and we can fill and primer it. Remember your respirator. Everything has now been sanded, I've gone ahead and I've put 3M tape onto the pieces onto spray paint can tops. I also got a fresh can of filler primer, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a coat on all of these. All the filler primer has dried. Now we gotta do more sanding. Remember kids, wear your respirator. 120 grit to start. 220 grit. A few hours later, we're back. Everything's been sanded to 220. I'm tired. Uh, I'm gonna coat everything in a flat black primer. The reason I'm using this black spray paint is because even though the gun is white, the black spray paint has a very high contrast against the gray filler primer. So when I'm sanding it, I can see any high spots, low spots, layer lines, and stuff like that. Without further ado, I'm gonna go put some paint on this. Cool, cool. I am back in my beautiful bathroom where I will be wet sanding. You guys should know the drill already. Wet sand with 400. Um, 
wet sand with 600. The parts are dry after being wet sanded and I've kind of pieced it together here to see what it looks like. And this thing is actually pretty massive holding it up like this. This thing's gonna be a beast. I have Rust-Oleum Flat White and Satin Rust-Oleum Black. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the parts their respected color, and then we can go from there. Paint is now dried. I'm gonna tape everything off so that the main parts are gonna stay black that need to be black, and then there's some gray area, so I'm gonna go ahead and tape everything off. Okay, it's recording. Okay. All of these sections are going to be painted black. I will then kind of like cut and tape over everything so that I can paint the other parts orange. I'm gonna go paint this black, this, and also this. Regular flat black paint for it. I'll be right back. The time has come. We are literally like, this is almost done. Gotta take the tape off of everything. tape's off, but there's some areas that bled a little bit too much. I think I didn't push the tape down all the way. I have black spray paint and white spray paint. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up these areas. I finished the touch-up painting, and now I'm gonna start gluing all of the pieces together. We have the main barrel assembly thing, the two side pieces, front little nub thing, the trigger, this arc generator tip, this... I don't know what to call them, okay? They're... they're Y you understand it. We're gonna be using five minute epoxy and super glue. And this rail thing. I don't, I really don't know the names of these. Back's all smooth. I'm attaching this piece with super glue. It's gonna go in right there. This guy goes on like that. Gotta make sure I put it together right. I put this piece on. Very decent amount of super glue. The front piece as well. The side pieces pretty much just snap in. Don't want to take chances. The trigger needs to go in. I don't know, I guess it's like a guard of some sort. Almost all the pieces are installed. Now I gotta put the main barrel assembly on. Slides in pretty easily. As you can see, the very high-tech way of setting everything up. The reason I'm using five minute epoxy on here is because I need that extra strength. I don't think the super glue will have that. I don't mind super glue holding the smaller stuff. If it's supporting this entire barrel, I want to make sure that it's properly done. All right. All right, everyone. I am chronically sleep deprived. Wow, isn't that cool? I got two props back here. But Dan, this is a video about the District 9 arc generator. Oh, very good point, Daniel. Uh, as you can see, I have to clear coat both of these, and I don't feel like filming two separate videos, so I'm gonna say the same spiel. <sighs> I, gotta, I gotta clear coat this now. Time to use some clear coat. Wacky crossover episodes, boys. I'm already making the arc. It it's happened. It's happened. District Nine, Buzz Lightyear. Uh, you you saw it here first. I'm gonna go get some sleep. We are almost done. So basically, I used the cricket. Cut to the cricket video. Okay, that's what I did. I literally just clicked start. The cricket cut it. As you can see. Then you just throw the stickers on. However, what you'll notice is these areas have to be orange and then I need the little orange insignia right here. I'm gonna use the negative that I cut out. I already taped them on right here and I'm gonna go ahead and tape this on here. I'll tape this here like that. I'm gonna tape this on like this and then spray some orange on it. Quick note, I realized this needed to be silver and this little piece needed to be black. Also threw on a couple of stickers right here. Uh, so I went ahead and I painted this black and this silver. Let's get to it. I just taped that on there. So it's ready for orange. I'm gonna go ahead and put the orange on here and the sides in the most janky way possible. I hope there's no overspray. There's 100% gonna be overspray. Trust me guys, I am a professional. Uh, 
I know what I'm doing. Cool. All right. Alright, it's been like three minutes and my impatience uh, has taken the best of me. I use the power of heat. So this is, this is pretty much dry, I hope. Make sure you have a, a brand new X-Acto knife. Beautiful. I definitely let the paint dry. I'm gonna clear coat just to seal everything. Definitely let that clear coat dry properly. I'm gonna airbrush now. I'm just gonna hit areas to make it look darker with shadows, kind of like dirtier spots. It's a little hot. I'm gonna go ahead and start weathering with oil paints. If you watched the District 9 video, go, go watch the video, then you'll know that I weathered with the black and brown oil paints and I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. Black oil paint. I'm gonna use a small paintbrush to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Hello everyone. As you can tell, it is Monday, and I have to wear the shirt because I hate Mondays. Shout out to my older brother Stefan. He did a beautiful job creating this. Real, real great artwork. If, if you can't tell, he's the artist of the family. The last bit to do, rub and buff. For all your rub and buffing needs. Dirty paintbrush. Uh, a little piece of plastic or scrap or whatever. I'm gonna put a dollop on here. Dad. Maybe that much. Not gonna get a little bit on the brush, just a little bit. All I'm gonna do is where the damage would occur. I'm gonna I'm gonna brush in that direction, like not much. You know, around the edges, it would wear there. So you don't want to do too much and overdo it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the whole gun. Yay, the Robin buff is done. The final step is adding these wire pieces. Here goes to here, here goes to here. Filament is way too thin. I had to sacrifice my airbrush hose. Good times I've had with this old girl. Cut the hosing apart. I'm gonna glue that in there. These go to here. I'm gonna cut these at various lengths. Super glue. The magical accelerator. And then same for this side. Oh, heck yeah, boys. I think it's done. However, um, let's cut to the real outro. Alrighty, everyone. So you just saw it. This is the District 9 Arc Generator. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Put a lot of time and effort into it. And I really love this thing. I, I can't, I really can't wait to display it. All in all, uh, I, I, I still really like the rifle, but this genuinely is pretty sweet. I don't really know what I'm building next week, but stay tuned. It, it might be something from Overwatch. I'm not sure yet, but we definitely will see. So watch. If you have any comments, questions, whatever, leave them in the uh, comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I've really been uh, pursuing this, and I really want to... Uh, you know, make more videos on this stuff. And I'm just, I, this is my passion. I really love it. Here's the rifle. Here's the arc generator. I, I don't know which one I can say I love more, but I, I think this one is way cooler. This one was definitely fun. I still love it a lot, but I still think the arc generator is like the classic. It's the one that, you know, the movie really portrays as the badass weapon. If you want to see a video on something, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Have a good one. Happy Mother's Day. Love you all.